Hey guys, it's your Alistair Crutter, and today I reviewed the Leaping Lightweight Ninjago Movie Monster Fall Set. So, this is the box here. So, you can see it's recommended for your 6 and up, and comes with 327 pieces, and this is set 06059. Comes with uh, 4 main figures, uh, which is Gar Jungle Garmadon, Kai, Master Wu, and also a uh, skeleton. So, yeah, uh, you can see the box art is pretty cool, and um, yeah, so the top here, you can see you got uh, the actual size, and also a uh, handle, which is definitely great, and on the side of the box here, uh, it's just Ninjago movie, and the other side is also the same, so I will show you that, and the bottom has nothing, and yeah, so the back here, you can see, shows you all the features, and um, yeah, but um, aside from that, that's it for the box. So, uh, this set comes with a uh, crate inside, yeah, so this is the instruction manual here, so, um, you know, nothing uh, really special about the instruction manual, uh, you know, this set does have number backs, and, um, yeah, the builds, um, they are all pretty simple, and this is the last page of the build, and, yeah, this is the back, nothing special with the instructions, but, yeah, aside from that, that's it for the instruction. So first off, uh, main fix, this is Jungle Garmadon. So, you can see, he's armed with four katanas, which, uh, you know, just like the offshore Lego one. So, you can see, uh, his his hat piece is, um, you know, pretty cool. Uh, it's, I believe it, it's the exact same one. And yeah, um, he also ha have this uh, pauldron kind of thing on the side with uh, some detail detailing on it, which is great. And you also got uh, his face, which is uh, his kind of angry face. And yeah, so the torso printing, um, you know, you got all all his uh, body detailing. And yeah, it looks very good. And the top part of the body, it's um, very accurate, um, nice. And yeah, so uh, the leg print thing, you got this uh, belt type thing. And yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't have the offshore Lego one though, which, yeah, because it's a little bit hard to get. But yeah, so let's remove this. So the back torso thing, it's a pretty basic one. And yeah, looks um, good enough. And yeah, but aside from that, that's it for Jungle Garmadon. The second figure is Kai uh, Unmasked, and yeah, so you see his hairpiece is the um, exact same one as the offshore Lego one, and yeah, that's um, great, and let's remove it, uh, so you can see you got uh, his face there, which is his kind of serious face, and his alternate expression is this um, smiley face. And yeah, he does also have uh, his katana holder at the back with two katanas. And let's remove it, and it's the exact same mold from the official Lego on it as well. So, uh, the torso printing, uh, you know, pretty basic, uh, just the exact same. You got all the uh, symbols, and yeah, you got the belt, and yeah, you got uh, some design on the legs. And yeah, looks um, really good. And the back, you got the sec Secret Ninja Force uh, logo. And yeah, uh, so let's compare it to the official uh, Lego one, which I do own. And yeah, so here it is. So you can see um, the printing for the official Lego one. Uh, like the tone of it is much lighter, while this one is um, like much more darker. Uh, you can, you can like. It's very visible, uh, but this one, the, the design, it's um, a little bit hard to see, and yeah, but um, it, it, it's pretty much the same anyways, but um, let's remove the back piece, and the back, it's pretty much the exact same, but um, yeah, aside from that, that's it for Kai. So the third figure here is a uh, Master Wu, and yeah, he he comes armed with uh, his um, stick, and yeah, he also has uh, his helmet, which is a very common mode, and yeah, uh, he does also have his uh, beard, and 
yeah so his face print under there it's um i believe it, it's the exact same i don't have the official lego figure to compare but yeah uh you got his robes and everything and yeah no leg print thing uh you just have uh his um boots which is just a little bit of a printing there and yeah his uh bottom uh like pants part um yeah it's um like the printing is not really aligned that well but yeah still nice that they made the mold though but yeah it, it doesn't cover the whole figure and i think i might have uh, put this wrong but yeah does um yeah does kind of look right though i don't know why what happened but yeah so this is the uh, back printing so you got the secret ninja force uh logo there and yeah but aside from that um that's really it for master Wu. lastly you got uh the skeleton figure which um yeah it's a uh, just a basic uh skeleton figure but um yeah you you, you do have uh his um kind of face print i guess uh, nice to get uh one i guess but yeah um his body his legs they are all just the the normal one the common ones he does come with a dagger and he also comes with a printed piece which is uh the map to uh the temple of the ultimate ultimate weapon and yeah um this i believe this comes in like two sets um yeah this also comes in the destiny's uh, bounty set but um yeah uh but aside from that that's it for the skeleton so this is the build itself here so uh let's start off by taking a look at uh the water part first so uh you can see uh there are uh, some rocks right there you know um you have a lot of those uh, gray pieces and you also have uh, some of those uh translucent pieces to you know represent uh, water of course and um yeah you got this uh, big one in the middle which you know supports the bridge and um yeah so getting to the bridge itself here so uh the like the handlebars here they are like a pain to put on and yeah because uh this is a le leaping and their quality uh, suck so yeah but uh you know once once you put them on they do look uh, great and um yeah it, it, it's okay and um and you also have uh these uh tancred pieces as the bridge and yeah they are also a pain to put on because um yeah they are really hard to snap on and yeah uh you also have uh two of those uh technic pieces on there which uh you know you can put on uh master wu and Garmadon on there to you know kind of fight and you can change the position of uh, those technique pieces if you want to uh, you can you know just simply pull them off and yeah it's really hard to attach them there but yeah uh, you also have uh, these things connecting uh, the the bridge together and yeah uh, and on the other side it's um it's a little bit more stable because this one uh, they use these arms and yeah but um it, it does look uh, okay so um you also have uh, this doorway here which uh you have some of those uh minifigure um mini minifigure pieces on there which is um great and um you got this uh, door frame kind of thing and you can stand the figure right there and yeah so at the bottom you got this uh, little hidden cave which is where you can put in the skeleton with the map uh, and you can just put them in there and there's a dagger and this uh, vine on there and uh, there are a lot of uh, leaves throughout the the build and yeah uh, you have uh, this big leaf on top there and you also have uh, the wood thing, I'm not sure what that is, but yeah, uh, so uh, the other side here, you can see uh, this is, um, you have these uh, scorpion pieces, which is really nice to get, and you also have uh, all these flame pieces, and yeah, it looks um, really good, and you do have some like kind of steps, so you can put uh, your figure, you know, to jump them up, I guess, and yeah, you also have uh, this piece over here and yeah uh, lastly you got uh, this prison thing which is removable it's on this uh, ext extension platform and 
yeah so this thing uh it's it's also a pain to put on because of all these bar pieces it's really hard to put it put them inside here but uh you can open this up and you can put in the skeleton if you want to or you can throw in garmadon but he's a little bit too tall so yeah you might have to remove his sword and yeah make him sit down or whatever and you also have this leaf piece on top but um, aside from that, um, that's um, really it for the build. Uh, overall, it's a pretty good one, just that the quality can suck. So, that's it for the build. So, overall conclusion of this set. So, how do I think of it? Uh, well, the figures, they are definitely great. Uh, I do like uh, the figures. Uh, I think uh, they have a pretty nice quality and um, yeah so uh, to the build so the build here I mean um, it's okay it's good it's just that the quality of it uh, really does suck um, like yeah putting on these pieces are like really pain and yeah I'm not sure if I can rec recommend this or not but yeah I guess if you cannot afford the official Lego one um, yeah you should definitely get this one if you want it and yeah, if you can uh, afford the offshore Lego one, uh, I suggest you getting the offshore Lego one because it's um, also pretty cheap. So yeah, but uh, so overall, I think it's um, great set. Just that the quality does kind of suck. Uh, I guess just depends on uh, w which batch you get, uh, which batch you buy. But yeah, this batch of mine sucks. So. Yeah, I'm not sure if I, if I can recommend this or not. So, if you want to buy this set, I'll put a buy link down in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's it for our video. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you very soon.